Good morning. This is Apostle Rosalind Solomon, and this is Rosalind Solomon's uh, YouTube channel. And um, also, Prophetic um, Life Advice Show channel I have, and Glory Ori channel I have, uh, Rosalind Solomon's Vima music videos channel on here, Rosalind Solomon's music channel on here. And you could go to www.getdash2-7.com. That's my prophecy blog. Um, you can also donate through PayPal on there to the middle right. Then prophetessrosalindsolomon.blogspot.com. That's my prayer blog. You can also donate to the PayPal middle right, a partner or so a seed. And um, I'm also on BitTube. Um, I have books on Amazon, Barnes & Nobles. You could put in Apostle Rosalind Solomon and see all of those books and then put in Rosalind Solomon's books. Um, all kinds of books on the supernatural, deliverance, heaven, even um, Christian uh, sci-fi, Christian romance books and all kinds of stuff. So we give God all the glory. And um, I'm also on Facebook, Prophetic Mantle, also Rosalind Solomon. So you could join both pages because I'll be I'm streaming from both pages soon because normally I only stream through Prophetic Mantle, but I'm gonna start streaming through the other one too because I have a lot of followers on um, that one. I'm also on Instagram, but that's under my videos except for the last three that I've done and this one, I'm catch up with them today. All right, so God bless everybody. And um, church was great yesterday. I was just so elated and so happy to be back doing church. It felt so wonderful and so glorious and I felt so blessed in the Lord. And he was so powerful with the things that he had me to do and teach. So I'm looking forward to church on here and on Facebook. <laughs> and Yeshua, Jesus name, bless you. All right, I had fell asleep yesterday afternoon, a couple of hours after church, you know, I had went to talk to God then I went and fix me some dinner and eat. And then I fell asleep, I think around six to like seven, seven fifteen. 15, I woke up. And um, the Lord was showing me these things, all kinds of d destruction and stuff, right? And then I heard him say, and like normally I don't give dates, but I have to, because I heard him say November 2nd and November 25th. And so when I woke up, tears streamed out of my eyes, warm tears streamed out of my eyes because I was crying from what I saw. So I woke up and I was like, what was that? So he said November 2nd and November 25th were days of destruction. November 2nd would be for the USA and November 25th would be for um, a foreign country. He said, but if we pray and his people heed him, and his people and people repent, these destructions can be stopped. So I'm here to tell you, please repent. Please have others repent. Please share this video and let people know huge destructions are coming here November 2nd and then abroad November 25th. Now, God does give me dates, but not often. But y'all know when he gives me dates, they, they come to pass. Like last November, he gave me a whole week of dates and stuff happened right so please heed to these dates please um repent please share this have others repent please pray that the people in the world repent people in america now i don't know where the destruction is going to be on november 25th but he just told me abroad overseas foreign land that's what he told me but he did tell me november 2nd was for the usa and what i saw it was like a whirlwind of destruction and i woke up crying from it and that's only my third time in life waking up crying from a vision. All right. So please. And God said, if, if man repents, he will stop this. So we have a chance. So here it is only January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. We America got nine months. People abroad, they got 10. And I have no idea which country. He didn't tell me. He just said an, abroad, an, an, an a broad foreign land something like that he said all right and then um i went to sleep again and i had a vision of this lady um we were somewhere we was in a restaurant she was preaching to me she was a powerful woman of god 
And she was preaching to me, but I can't remember what she was preaching, but I know it was good. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, she manifested and disappeared, right? And everybody in the restaurant saw it, including me. But everybody kept coming to me, asking me where she went, because they knew that I knew her. And I said, I don't know where she went. And then I was trying to call her, and every time I would reach her phone, it would go to her voicemail, and then you would hear, do, do, do. So I couldn't reach her. So then I called her phone again and I finally reached her message box and I was able to leave her a message. And then before I woke up, she came back. <laughs> she came back, right? And, and 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 was looking for me. So I woke up. So I was like, God, what is that? And he said, there are chosen people, especially women, but he's going to use some men. But there are chosen females and, and a remnant of men that will be doing these things. They will be in the marketplace. They could be in the church. They could be somewhere. And the thickness of God will be there and be with them. And he will have them manifest and disappear and take them into the heavens and do work and then bring them back. And then when they come back, they're going to have proof that they was in the heavens with God doing his work. And then he told me in these end days, we're going to see things that we never knew that we could see before that has never been seen or done on the earth. That's how mildly he's going to be using women and some men, but women. And he called them the daughters of Zionis, the daughters of Zionis. I guess that's spelled S-I-O-N-I-S-T, daughters of Zionis. So, like they say, daughters of Zion. He said, daughter of Zion, Zion, Zionis, right? I'm like, wow, right? And then the other vision I saw, can you bring it back to me? Okay. Um, I was in a vision, and this lady, she was sitting like in an appellate court. Like it was the heavens court, because it didn't look like a normal court, but it was like an appellate court, right? And she said to me that more women of Zionist, Zionist, Zion are dying than we know. And she said, so many are dying right now that it's historic. She's talking about the black and brown women. You know, even though you are a woman of Zionist, if you're grafted in and you're, and you're another nationality, you're still a daughter of Zionist too. But God was, but in the vision, this woman, I think it was the Holy Spirit. She was talking about the black and brown people, black and brown women, because that's what she showed me. And she said, many are dying. It's breaking records. And she said, it's not being reported. Only a small amount is being reported. But she said, more women are dying. Black and white, black, I mean, black and brown people, women are dying more than ever in history. It's historic. And it's being hidden from us. And I remember I gave y'all prophecy that the Lord said the daughters of Zionists, which was the black and brown women, were about to be judged. I gave y'all that two years ago. Um, but I didn't know they were going to be judged through murder. And then there's also a scripture in the book of Jeremiah that, that God talks about them wearing wonton eyes, makeup, woven hair. And he was going to have the men turn against them and many would be murdered. And we're seeing that scripture come to pass. So. She uh, uh, so when I so when I was waking up from the dream, I think it was the Holy Spirit telling me this. And she said for us to pray for the black and brown women, but pray for all women, because it's not just black and brown women being killed, but they are the majority of that's being killed. Right. So just pray for all colors, but specifically pray for the black and brown women. Right. Um, to to honor God, to come to God, to wake up for their souls to be uh, to attached back to them so their conscience could come, so they could wake up and come from under this curse, right? And she was named. So then as I was waking up out of the vision, I heard God say Jeremiah 33. So I read Jeremiah 33 and I was like, whoa, he says he's going to be restoring his true Israelites. His true Israelites, the black and brown people, he's going to be restoring us. He's going to pardon us. He's going to forgive us. He's going to show us off before the masses. Um, he's going to restore lands back to us, property back to us, blessings, benefits, everything. So you who are black and brown people, the true Israelites, even the ones who've been grafted in, that's not black or brown. You could be white, Spanish, Latino, don't matter, right? 
as long as you graft it in, it's for you too, but it's majority for the black and brown people. So please study Jeremiah 33, and you're going to be surprised what's in Jeremiah 33. Now, I read the Jeremiah 33 from the King James Bible, but if you have the King James Bible and the Seep the Bible or a different Bible along with the King James, read both versions. You know, um, the NIV, I, I wouldn't trust that one because they done took out too much. So if you have the, see, I have the African King James Bible. So those of you who have African King James Bible, you can read it in there. If you have the regular King James Bible, I hope it got all the truth in there. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I'm noticing that they're starting to shorten these scriptures. And I'm noticing that they're starting to short the Psalms as well. You know, so just be careful. So if you got seep to read that. Um, if you got um, African King James Bible, read that. If you got King James Bible, then you have no choice but to read that. You got American Standard. See, the King James Bible, the regular one, American Standard, NIV, they don't have everything in it. They're taking it out. So my advice would be to use to go and get you um, like an African King James Bible or the old 1611 King James Bible, which I sell that one on Amazon, right? And that way you could get the full just of Jeremiah 33. All right. Um, and I think that was that was it. Yeah, and then in, when we was having church yesterday, the Lord was saying how um uh, many people's breakthroughs is coming and you're at the cuffasis of it. So just be prepared to get through, you know. Don't get yourself angry or no arguments, none of that, because the devil gonna try and steal it from you. You know what I mean? Don't let his thoughts overtake you. Just praise God for the breakthroughs that you've been waiting for. You know what I mean? Just praise him and the Holy Spirit and Yeshua for what you've been waiting for. You know, it's not all about money and financial stuff. Many people waiting to get delivered, get out of wheelchairs, start walking, get healed from sicknesses. Their relationships get healed, bringing their children back to them or having children. You know, starting ministries, careers, going to school you know, get married, whatever the case is, people are waiting, getting delivered from demons in their bodies or outside their bodies, wanting their children and family and husbands and wives to get delivered. There's all kinds of breakthroughs that's about to come. So just praise God every day for your breakthrough till it come. And then when it come, you praise him for it coming. All right. So God bless everybody. You have a great, happy Sunday. <laughs> and Shalom.